Hello, this is Andrew with Mamillion.bike, and this is a pair of specialized Pathfinder Pro tubeless ready 700 by 42C gravel tires. While I really like my WTB Riddlers, they're really fast tires and really comfortable tires, I wanted to try something a little bit bigger. They're 37 and I wanted to try something greater than 40. And I've heard really good things about this tire, especially this um, center slick strip where it uh, is supposed to make it quite a bit faster on surfaces that are closer to road where the grippy sides on the or the grippy bits on the sides help you out in the not road sections so let's get these opened up and ha get them weighed okay so tire number one is 544.5 grams which is hefty for a tire. Let's get tire two out. And tire two is 551 grams. Let's open these up, we'll have a little look. So you can see inside here is a fairly fine weave and they actually feel really nice from a like a tire soft and suppleness perspective. So I expect that these are gonna be a lot closer to the WTB Riddler from a ride, just from like, you know, the, the feel of the, um, the tire casing here compared to the Pan Racer tires that I, mud tires that I have. But of course, that's just me guessing. Now we'll just go mount them up and uh, see how that goes. Okay, so it is time to mount. Pathfinder Pro. This is a directional tire and it is written somewhere on here. I mean you can tell by the tread that it's supposed to go this way but it is written on one of the sides somewhere uh, right here. Uh, one of the other interesting things about this tire which is kind of bizarre if I can find it here. Hopefully you can let's focus in on that. Hopefully that shows up. You can see that it says that it's rated from 50 to 80 PSI, which is truly bizarre. I run my 38 at between 30 and 35. Well, between 30 and 50, depending on what I'm doing. And the idea that I would run 42 between 50 and 80 PSI just seems kind of ridiculous. But, you know, what it is what it is on the side. I'm not, probably not gonna do that though. But I'll try it. I'll see where we end up. All right, just confirm that I did the rotation right. Yep, all right, so let's pop this. Okay, that went on pretty easy. Let's Give it a little bit of uh, uh, soapy water treatment just to get it to seat a little bit easier, I think. Let's see if we can get it on here without taking out the valve core. Nope. All right, so seated nicely. Valve core had to come out though, for uh, on these PD's valves. Let's. Uh, it's, it does seem to be holding air very well though. So let's take it down. All right, that's 50. I can't. I cannot imagine riding this on a trail though at 50. That is seriously full of air. Anyway, let's go with the other tire now. That went on super easy. And let's try this one with the uh, core in, just maybe it was a fluke with that tire. Oh yeah, this one's gonna go right on.
All right, take it up to 50. That was super easy. All right. So 50 PSI, let's get the width. Width at 50 PSI is 42.2, which is really close. It's a 42C tire. This is a Far Sports 30 millimeter external, 30 millimeter deep, and 25 millimeter internal width, uh, just for reference. So it, it would be, the tire would be slightly different size on a different internal width, but that's what it is on here. So let's get the height just kind of for completeness here. And it looks like that is 42.4. So, perfect. So let's wrap up on the Specialized Pathfinder Pro. The TLDR is that I liked it enough to buy it twice. This is actually the 42 size that I started the review process with. And this is a 38C tire, or 38C version of the Pathfinder Pro. In general, they have very similar pros and cons, keeping in mind, of course, that you know a 38C tire is gonna behave a little bit differently than a 42C tire. The 42 is gonna be a little bit better when you wanna run lower pressures, like if you have uh, more gnarly gravel, it's wetter, muddier, you need more traction, that kind of thing. And the 38 is gonna be a little bit faster on like, you know, uh, Cat 1 kind of gravel. These are pretty fast tires. They're not the fastest tires. They do, I think, offer a good balance of speed and puncture resistance where there are faster tires and there are tires that have better puncture protection, but none of, neither one of those kind of hits that intersection as well as these do to the best of my knowledge. I've never felt slow on them. So I've never really felt the need to change the tires for general purpose gravel riding or racing. There are scenarios where this is not the right tire, where you might want to run a specific mud, like a mud tire or something like that, or you might run a, run a slick. I wouldn't do that, I don't think. Well, maybe the mud tire, I, I might do it. But outside of racing, I'm not sure that it's necessary to optimize that much for those situations. For the most part, you can manage that using tire pressure. So if you're gonna run on a faster surface, you can use more tire pressure. If you're gonna run on a slower, wetter, gnarlier surface and use less tire pressure. The cons for this tire, uh, they're, they're heavy. That's probably the, the main one that most people are gonna notice or call out. But for me, the biggest con for these tires is that you need to be really careful about how you set them up for the surface that you're going to run on. So if we look at this tire here, we can see uh, there's a slick center channel. And it, this is the same on both tires, but I'm just going to, this is the 38. I'm just going to do it. We're just going to use that because it's a little bit easier to see it on here. You can see here is a very, like a, a pronounced rounded profile. And that makes this slick center channel hit the road very prominently. That's part of why these tires are as fast as they are, especially on hard surfaces. It's because you're basically riding a slick most if you're on a hard surface. It, the, and if you're running on like a wet or muddy surface, you would let air out to kind of flatten the profile a little bit. So you would get the lugs to engage more quickly than they would otherwise. The issue with these tires is that if you set them up for dry and you get into the situation where you're running on something that is slippery on the surface but it's hard underneath, so like it just started to rain or, or there's a little bit of water over um, like rock, the contact patch is minimal and it's pretty easy to, to wipe the bike out. I actually did that riding in drizzle or when it, you know, it went out when it was dry and it transitioned into uh, drizzle 
and I wasn't paying attention and I ended up taking <laughs> some chunks out of my leg. The way that I would mitigate that is by letting air out of the tire and I just didn't think to stop and let air out of the tire to flatten the, the profile so that the lugs would engage and you know make it so that the, the contact patch would be wider and more uh, patterned than it was on the slick portion. That's pretty much it. Overall, I highly rate these tires. I think that they are a great balance of speed and puncture protection, and I'm happy to live with the weight because they are fast and because even though I've, between the two tires, have ridden thousands of miles, I have not, I haven't had a puncture on them. I think that that's fantastic. Well, hopefully you thought that was useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.